The Magnolia State's most trusted statewide news source. 24 Hours News Mississippi. For the News Mississippi Daily Digital, I'm Courtney Carter and today is January 16th. Human trafficking is the second fastest growing crime in the United States and unfortunately in Mississippi it's no exception. Now where there's no official stats saying how prevalent human trafficking is in Mississippi, what we do know is that 19 victims of human trafficking have been rescued in Mississippi since 2013. Now human trafficking is the trade and transport of people who are being used as uh, you know transporting drugs or sex slaves. Unfortunately it's common with children. And in Mississippi, Governor Phil Bryan is trying to stop that with a human trafficking task force that he's put together that started last month, 16 members. What they're trying to do is get more members aboard, bring in organizations, have them coming together for two reasons. One, so the public can be informed on what human trafficking actually is, and two, who they can go to to report it if they see it. Everything Governor Bryant has to say about that at NewsMS.fm. You may remember on Christmas Eve, Trey Rich III, he was out riding his bike when he was struck by a driver and killed. Well, now police say they have the man who's responsible. He had admitted to drinking the night before and the blood test came back and he was over the limit. His name is Reginald Davis. Police picked him up at his home yesterday in Rankin County. There's no bond or court date set right at this moment, but News Mississippi will keep you updated as more comes out. And imagine paying in during your entire career for a pension plan, only to find out you're going to get one check and that's it. It's happening to Singing River Hospital employees down in Pascagoula. News Mississippi's Chris Davis has been investigating, and we've got that full story at newsms.fm. For the News Mississippi Daily Digital, I'm Courtney Carter.